Hello and welcome back to another video. And so uh, today we're gonna be ch seeing if Daryl's gadget is actually good and if it honestly needs a buff. And also, um, we're gonna be listing how good Gale is in every game mode and overall, and also what his star powers and gadget do. Okay, first starting off with the star powers. His first star power makes it where enemies tossed into walls with Gale Super will be stunned. Now this honestly is like a lower C tier gadget because it's it's not very useful even when you do get the stun because it's not a it's not a lot it's not exactly a really long stun and you normally don't want to hit people against walls when you use a super anyway so it's kind of like you don't want to activate the star power so th that's why it's not very good and also uh, the second star power is teammates hit by um teammates hit by a super will get a speed boost so even though this and this is a upper c tier so even though the super is really wide if you can't hit your main objective with his super is to hit other people so you don't want to hit you would rather hit other people than your teammates and because of that there's not a lot of opportunities for this to be better than hitting opponents actually hitting opponents with your super so yeah okay so the gadget is, is this is gonna be a very broken and hilarious gadget gil places a jump pad facing where he is so he basically plays in the charges per match are three and i would say s tier because this is a really excellent star power and gil is all of these rankings are based on his gadget and they're a lot because of his they're a lot because of his gadget so if you don't have it he's not as good without it and so this is going to be super strong for you and your teammates to like get onto the enemy safe or um get all the way to like the siege where the siege token spawn and like overall like taking time away um getting extra time or and like yeah okay but now getting to the rankings in solo showdown i would say lower a tier now while gale will be very hard to to kill he but that's and that's a very good solo showdown aspect but he's hard to get kills because he doesn't he doesn't do the most damage he doesn't have really anything impressive about him except for his gadget but also his gadget isn't as useful in this game mode as it would be in other places so yeah okay but in duo showdown he's upper a tier because he's a little bit better in duo showdown because he because his teammates can really help him out with the the um killing other people and he can help um them stay alive and with that combo if you have that combo it can be a really good combo okay but next we have gym grab and i think he's upper a tier because his jump pads are going to be so useful in this game mode for getting the gems and getting gems is just overall really good a gadget that basically guarantees gems is just really good and even without that he's a really good support brawler and also with the super and gadget he can be a he he'll be a really good person at stopping other people from getting gems okay but next we have brawl is and this is um his upper a tier because of jump pads progressing up the map is really important and especially and also his super is really good in this game mode because um knocking pushing back enemy uh, opponents is is really useful and so yeah okay but in bounty he's gonna be a lower b tier instead because bounty he doesn't have impressive range and his gadget and super aren't gonna be very useful in this game mode because the gadget is like suicide and then the super the pushing back is not very useful and so yeah 
And then next we have Heist and I would say upper B tier. And Heist, he's just, I don't know, he, um, he struck, he, like, upper B tier is still good, but the only, honestly, good thing about him is that his jump pads, he can push, uh, he can get his teammates to the safe. But besides that, he's pretty bad in bounty, I mean, Heist, because he doesn't do a lot of damage. So, while like, he can be okay on defense, because of that, he's not as good as he is in other game modes. And then, last than Siege, this is his only S tier game mode, but he's good overall. Anyway, but in Siege, he can get onto this, he can get onto your enemy's Ike with his jump packs, and that's oh, also, that's re really good. And, and also, he can use the jump pads to get to right to action in the middle where the Siege tokens spawn. And... Um, his super is really useful for, um, getting opponents away from your safe or, or something like that. And then overall, he has lower, he's a lower A tier brawler. Hey, sorry about so saying that it, I was going to be covering if, if Daryl's gadget is actually good or is it not. And, but I decided just to do, is Gale, actually, is Gale good or bad? or okay, or op broken, or not, and, or just bad, just plain bad, but I, I decided just to go over what hit Gale's gadgets, and gadget and star powers do, and also is he good in all the game modes, or bad in them, and also is he good overall, or bad, so yeah, well that's the end of this video, bye!